Hello guys, I have currently been working on AWS platform and exploring a bit. So I wanted to make a video on how to import data from your DynamoDB table to your S3 bucket. So let us start with making a DynamoDB table. If you have created a one, it's not a problem, but if you have not, follow me. Table name, let's name it as tutorial. Primary key, let it be ID. If you want to add secondary indexes or provide any capacity, it's okay. But let's use the default settings for now. While a table is being created, let's create a S3 bucket wherein we can store the DynamoDB dynamo db data sorry about this yeah uh, let's create a bucket wherein we'll store a dynamo tutorial data yep cool we have created a DynamoDB. Yeah, it's been created. Let's see the items. Okay, we haven't entered any items. So let's create one. We'll add another field called uh, name. This is your wish. And save. This is let's see oh, s3 bucket yeah it's created it's been empty yeah, okay fine <clears throat> second thing is we need to create one we need to create one of the data pipelines these data pipelines will help us transfer data from DynamoDB to s3 it's like a pipe so name data pipeline Okay, it's not available here, so we'll take the Tokyo one. Cool. Get started now. Name. Let's name it Tutorials. Description is okay. Uh, here we'll choose Export DynamoDB Table to S3. This is a template we'll be using. There are many templates according to our wishes. So let's select export DynamoDB table. Okay. So DynamoDB table name. Let's see what we have named here. Tutorials. Okay. So it's tutorials. This is the SQL bucket where we are wherein we want to put our DynamoDB table data. Let's select its data. Select. This is the region of DynamoDB. If you are not so aware of your region name, then you can see it in the console or uh, in the URL up there. Mine is AP Northeast 1. Doesn't matter. Okay. So it's AP Northeast 1. AP. Cool. This is on pipeline activation. On schedule will cost you money, I guess. So let's see on, on pipeline activation. When the pipeline is activated, the data will transfer. Pipeline configuration, let's, uh, this helps you to log the errors you will be facing while transferring the data, if any errors. So this will log all the data and store it in your S3 if you want to, but let's disable it for now. I am roles, let's select for default. This is not required. Now let's edit in the architect. Yeah, so once we come, once we click on data pipelines while creating it, this is the screen you will see. So right click on activities, add an optional wherein we will select on success. We will create a new action, okay. Similarly, we will select on fail. 
we create a new action and on late action yeah that's it only two we'll click on others default action one the one we created for on success type will be sns alarm sorry sns alarm this will be default Yeah, this is the topic ARN. ARN is the Amazon resource name wherein it will post, it will publish the errors. So for that, we have to create one. So for that, we have to create one of the uh, SNS servers. Let's go here. This is my SNS services. Okay, it's slow. Topic. We have a topic. Fine. This has been created by the in the process while in the process. Okay. This is the topic ARN. Well where it will publish all the log data. We just copy it and paste it here. Topic ARN is done. Dynamo DB. This is in Tokyo, right? subject let us say success and message subject will be it doesn't matter right this we will name as on fail We'll change the name to success SNS alarm. This will be failure SNS alarm. For the type, this is SNS alarm. ARN will be the same. Message will be failure. Subject will be XYZ. All this is done. We can now save it. Let's see if it's get activated. These are but there are validation warnings. You can still activate the pipeline. Let's go ahead and activate the pipeline. waiting on dependencies once we see the shaders running we can see our data in our s3 bucket so let's wait for it i'll just fast forward it yeah so this is running and if it takes more than five minutes to run click here rerun and it will run it again these are the attempts status will show waiting for runner for about five to ten minutes don't worry it's normal it happens but if it's more than 10 minutes please click on rerun so once this is running that means your pipeline is activated it's running it's flowing your data from your dynamo db to your s3 bucket so let's check your s3 bucket this is the one okay something has been recorded this is the date and the time for which it has been recorded these are the logs the one file which you require is this one we just download that file yeah so this is the data stored name this is the name this is the id which was stored in there yep and if you want to test it you can add some data here and those will be transferred in s3 bucket 
this will be helpful for you when you are using your elastic search or kibana which i will be talking to you in the next sessions please do subscribe my videos to my channel and like my videos because i'll be posting more on aws tutorials thank you see you soon